Uh, I quickly would like to answer the question that was asked on the forum um, what the new image-based environment projection mode is and how it differs from the previous mode. So I'm gonna show it very quickly. So the typical, the old model that was always enabled was the sphere with ground and you can see that we are projecting the upper half of the environment that you have loaded on a virtual ground plane and see the effect of this is that the object is really standing on this ground plane which is very handy. However, as you might have seen uh, is when you put in wrong values for the ground scale you see distortions uh, going towards the edges of this dome so let's enter you know the value one you see these streaks and these are um, unpleasant artifacts I would say so you can compensate for that and you know just by increasing the ground scale you make your object look right in comparison to the projected texture on the ground and since we had some users that were having troubles and that really disliked this workflow we added um, another mode which, which is this typical uh, sphere projection and you see now the object is floating in mid-air but you know if your rendering is still image this is not a problem because you know you just place your position your camera the right way and you know if you're looking at a still image it looks like it's standing on the ground and you also have a parameter called ground offset that you can use to uh, stretch your environment like the horizon you can move it up and down so, like if we set this to 200 we can move the horizon line further up or if we use 1000 you see already some distortion going on towards uh, the top so if we make this 2000 you will see that it becomes pretty extreme but I just wanted to show the usage of this parameter so if necessary you can uh, tweak the horizon line with this and that is how the new environment types work in iRefRhino.